Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for a daily dose of Dismal Disney. I think we're going to officially call a sub series on this channel Dis Dismal Disney. Yeah. But it's like, do you like little stories? Yeah, because sometimes there's not enough Dismal Disney news to make up a, a whole video on its own, but sometimes there's a, a little, little pieces of Dismal news that you can cobble together into one big dumpster mm -hmm. fire. There's some little corn pieces that you can put together into a, a big corn. A big corn. Or a pile of corn. A pile of corn. A pile of poo. Let's let's talk about this. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, some more Disney news. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, Disney possibly hiring strippers in the theme park. <laughs> that was funny. I can't uh, wait for that one. We're going to talk about the DAS Pass, which is the uh, disability access. Uh, There's a the whole debacle around this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that. We're going to talk about somebody getting punched. A mom punching her daughter at Disney. Over Genie Plus, because, you know, Genie Plus tearing families apart since, when did they start that? 2022? Something 2023. Like that, yeah. yeah, and then we'll talk about uh, this this cartoon show, Primos. Remember that one? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, uh, I don't think anybody really does. Nobody yeah. remembers it. Well, it, it, it's it's missing. We don't know where it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's missing. It might, might be another write-off. I don't know. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, speaking of woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> so this is great. So, you know, there's a whole, this whole discussion about Tinkerbell and whether she's been removed from the parks because she is labeled for removal because she's problematic, she's problematic. and she, you know, body, she gives body, body, people are feeling insecure about their bodies. Oh, we forgot to bring up, speaking about bodies, we should have brought the country bears. Oh, we'll bring up the country we'll, bears. We'll add that we'll, one. We'll, we'll get there. Throw, we'll throw, throw that, that one in too. We'll talk about the country bears yeah. later too. Um, so that's all going on. And while that's, there's this whole debate about that, which I still think it's not because of that. I think they're trying to they're trying to make changes to Tinkerbell, but I don't think that's what's going on. But this, this one, I was like, wait, they put that in the park? Yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about this. This is a last girl. This is actually coming from Pimp Master Broda, who got it off of a TikToker. Check check this out. Now this wait this was is this part of the new the, the new Pixar? Uh, they're having the Pixar party or something. I think it's um from last last year, but it's it's making the rounds on social media now. I think people just weren't paying attention. Okay. And there's there's no way to to ignore this. Uh, check this out. This is elastic girl. That's how you know she's elastic. I think there's putting music to it. That's yeah. not the music that comes with it in the in the well, theme park. I mean, come on. Well, she could be a dancer. So, I you know I always had questions <laughs> about the Incredibles because I'm like, I'm sure Mr. Incredible had uh, uh, big babies. He made big babies. Yeah. I don't think she felt anything. Either well, way. that must be nice. Either way, I don't think she felt anything. I'm that just saying. That must be nice. I'm jealous. I too had big babies. Can tell you, I didn't. I did feel things. I was watching. This is just. Ins I know that's that's acceptable, guys. This yeah. is okay. What's your job? I have to, you know, get down and do this, and then. Does she tuck? I don't think so. It looks like a girl to me. But yeah, that's some pole dancing. Now this is kind of this is kind of going along with uh, the dance they had in Epcot too, where it looked like they hired some pole dancers or something. Oh yeah, Epcot. yes. I don't know if they still have that. I don't know what happened to that. But that was yeah, the yellow mints or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They probably got rid of it because they were like, I yeah, don't know. Is... But I think that's funny. This is acceptable. But Tinkerbell is somehow a problem. Um, just like, just like Jungle Cruise. Remember, guys, the natives are bad, so you have to replace them with monkeys. I'm sorry, chimpanzees. And the uh, Trader Sam is is a, is a terrible, terrible racist stereotype. So it's much better to remove Trader Sam from the attraction and instead take the lost and found and slap a uh, you know for like a for sale gift shop sign over it. Yeah. So he's like fencing, fencing things because that's so much better. Yeah. So we got that. So then let's uh, let's talk about these DAS oh. passes. Okay, well, there's a whole fiasco around this DAS thing. But this is like the, the culmination in, right there. So the Disability Access Service, the DAS pass, I think we might have mentioned it in another video before. Um, basically, what they do is this was a replacement for the GAC pass. The GAC pass was the one where everybody was just getting back on the ride over and over again. This one, if the line's like an hour and a half, you wait an hour and a half, and then you get a return window to come back in an hour and a half to ride the ride and go to the front of the line. 
So, like, you waited the same amount of time as everybody else, just you didn't have to wait in line. Right. Um, they made changes to the rules that I think we talked about before. Uh, it started at Walt Disney World, and what you have to do now is you have to get pre-approved on a phone call with cast members and some medical professionals. Now, Universal does something similar, but Universal, you're allowed to provide medical documentation. Disney's not doing that. So people are being told things like, um, well, how do you stand in line at the grocery store? Well, I mean, there's a big difference between five minutes in line at the grocery store and, you know, an hour in line at Disney. Um, They're also told to do things like practice standing in line. They told them (laughs) that... They can send their party ahead in the line and then join their party later. So remember, we've covered many times the fist fights breaking out and people are trying to rejoin their party in lines. Um, their answer was to, you know, do that and then go rejoin your party. So if you're somebody yeah. who can barely stand or walk, you can hobble your way through the line to get back to your party and hope you don't get punched. Um, I'm hoping that, that they do something like that. They have access points that they can stop your party at, call you over, and then you can go get you meet them there at the access point. So when your party gets there you can be there that would be that would make the most sense it'll be the safest but who knows but on top of all this disney in their terms of service had it hidden that if you even call to apply you you get you you apply you make a phone call and they deny even if they deny you a das access pass um you cannot class action lawsuit them for that so in their terms of service it has the following I understand that after an individualized decision regarding my personal circumstances, I may be offered a DAS alternative accommodations or no accommodations at all. I agree that any lawsuit I may file or participate in challenging this decision, the individualized discussion, or the overall process itself shall be conducted only on an individual basis and not as a plaintiff or class member in a purported class consolidated wow. representative action or proceeding. Okay. So you can you. You can, you can go do a thing. Like you can challenge it as an individual, but um, you're not allowed to do a class action lawsuit or join a group. Like if there's like a, a you know Americans against disabil- with disabilities or something, yeah. you, you can't join that lawsuit. You you're waiving that, which I don't think is going to fly. Because most people don't know this, and they're applying for DAS, and they don't know that they're, they're waiving somehow, waiving their right to challenge it. If they if they turn you down because it sounds like they're turning most people down. Yeah, and Disney's gotten hit with uh, class action suits before. It's recently over the annual passes, I think, in Disneyland, didn't they? Yeah, they, they did, and they lost. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. The reason, make no mistake, why Disney is doing this is not to stop the the abuse of the DAS Pass, because the DAS Pass abuse went up five times when Genie Plus was rolled out. This is so Disney can make sure they get every penny, because their answer for a lot of people is, well, buy Genie Plus in Lightning Lane. That's their answer. Um, So they want every damn penny they can get out of people so they can go report record profits in the theme parks and they can bankroll all their other stuff since streaming and films are failing terribly. You know, they got to get the money from somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So that's what this is about. This isn't about actually giving a shit about people in line. This is about (laughs) making money for Disney. But just be aware that in their terms of service, now I don't know how enforceable this is, they're telling you that if you even try for a pass and get denied, you're not allowed to, to class action lawsuit them. You know, most most legalese actually works as a deterrent uh, with most contracts where when you push it, sometimes it's not enforceable. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't care. You go after that. You don't care if Mickey closes his legs. You pry those things open and you go in and say, I'm taking my <laughs> Oh, my whatever. God. <laughs> I'm just like, you know. It's a backstage tour. Right, I'm just saying, like, you know, they slam that door in your face, you get out a, a, a saw and you cut through that axe and you do, here's Johnny, and you go in and get you what, what you should because that's absolutely ridiculous. And, of course, it's in the, it's in the fine print knowing people aren't going to see it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's – they look at that too. Like a judge looks at that with class action lawsuits mm-hmm. like – yeah, you know, was this language written in such a way that a normal person could understand what they're actually agreeing to? And is it in a place where they can easily see it? Well, it's, they'll say it's in our terms of service, which you have to agree to. But most yeah. people don't read that. I mean, Balancy Disney is saying flat out, we're making changes. And, oh, and by the way, you need to know that you can't, if you apply and we say, no, you can't do anything. No, no, they don't tell you that part. Right. Um, but they have it in their, in their terms of service, like buried in the language. So just FYI on that one. So, so speaking of Genie Plus, Genie Plus is now tearing families apart, apparently. Um, 
WWE's day is always really good for finding this stuff. So apparently there was a fist fight within a family over Genie Plus ride reservations at okay. Disney's Hollywood Studios. So uh, nothing brings a family together like a Walt Disney World vacation. Um, it's so, okay, I'll tell you what. It's so damn stressful, Genie Plus, and then you, now you have to have you know, Genie Plus reservations, and you have to know where you're going, and you have to like plan out your entire day with where you're going to eat and everything else, and then you have to do mobile order and all this other shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Disney is, a, is an exercise in logistics, mm-hmm. flat out. Like, when you go to the parks, I was trying to explain to people before, like, they just want to go, I want to go and have a leisurely, you can't. You want to get on shit? You got it. You can't. You need a clipboard. I see people making charts, and there's reasons. You know, there's legit reasons for it. It's ridiculous. You need a vacation from your damn vacation. So a West Virginia family got into fist fight, and the mom got arrested at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> so I'll let you read some because I keep talking. All right. Uh, Andrea Jean Hill of Bell, West Virginia, was charged with battery, domestic violence, a misdemeanor, according to Orange Circuit County Court records. She pled not guilty. Family brawl is detailed in Orange County Sheriff's report that doesn't seem to scratch the surface of the family dysfunction. When the sheriff's office arrived, uh, Hill's 35-year-old daughter, the victim, was tearfully holding the right side of her face, the Orange County Sheriff's arrest report said. The sheriff asked what happened. The victim said she was having a family argument regarding ride reservations with other family members. More family members jumped into the argument, including the victim's grandma, who became physical, not with Goofy this time, uh, became physical with the victim's husband. God, this sounds like Jerry Springer. The uh, family members grew agitated, the report said, so the victim's mother got involved. The victim and her mom, who had been sharing a hotel room together on vacation, started arguing. That never happens at Disney. No, never. You never argue with family at Disney. Mm -hmm. Everything is magical, wonderful, whatever. Uh, The victim said that Hill pulled on her hair and clothing, so the victim pushed Hill away to escape. Then the victim's mother hit her in the face. Uh, the victim did not know if it was a punch or a slap. The family feud was happening in public at the theme park, and soon two Disney cast members who witnessed the attack got involved to separate the family. Uh, the victim showed signs of being struck. Uh, her so face she had, yeah, light swelling, swelling and, and it was red in the cheekbone area. Um, and they said that domestic violence affidavits were provided. Yeah. Um, she declined she, to sign it, though. She, yeah, she said she didn't mean it. Yeah, she said her daughter pushed her away and that led her to slug her in the face. But the mother, the mother the said, mother. I slugged her in the face. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> uh, gotta love Disney. Gotta love Disney. Brings out the best. It's just for families. Disney magic. Disney magic, guys. We're, we're hearing a lot more about brawls and fights in Disney. Well, a couple things. I think, one, people have, like, their phones with them all the time, so now you yeah. can document things, you know, real easy compared to before. Two, it's so damn stressful. Like, I'm yeah. not joking, guys. Like, if you've never been, and in recent, especially in recent years, they make it so stressful. It's ridiculous. All in the name of them making more money. That... I'm surprised this doesn't happen more often. And the other issue that keeps happening is lines and people pushing past lines or whatever or something happening in the queue usually leads to these big brawls. And then that's why I'm like, so your answer is you, your party's going to move ahead of you and then you meet them in line? I'm like, how the hell is that going to work out for everyone? It's like I cannot stress how stressful it is to go to Disney now. Yeah. It's expensive and stressful. I don't know why people keep, you know, I mean, I like to go to Disney too, but at least I know what I'm doing so I know how to get around and avoid most of this crap. All right. This is uh, Primos, which uh, for those of you who don't remember, it was basically described as a Spanish speaking loud house. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, a lot of uh, Latino people were not very happy about this show when it dropped. There's a lot of a lot of controversy around it. And uh, yeah, it kind of went down the memory hole. And now it looks like it's potentially been shelved. We all know where it is. So this article uh, coming from Pirates and Princesses said that the you know, series drew uh, controversy surrounding its portrayal of some of the characters as stereotypes and the mispronunciation right. of certain words. Uh, the fact that the word primo is used as masculine while prima is used as feminine description of the Spanish l- language tends to use gender-specific norms. You're allowed to say that. It's the Tinkerbell now. Why isn't it premex? But, yeah, exactly. It right? should be premix. It should be, damn pre-max. it. Premix. Don't give Disney ideas. Uh, but they said, yeah, the situation worsened when the series lead uh, voice actress yes. took to her Instagram and responded to the backlash. 
and said that the Spanish language was forced upon the Latin Americans. I remember that. I remember there were, yeah, there were like, there was a, I don't remember exactly what the issue was, but yeah, there was something. It was like a year that. ago. She was like, yeah, she said, basically the Spaniards forced uh, my people to speak their language and it's colonialism and blah, blah, blah. Her response was not well received at all. Disney's probably like, how much did we pay you? Shut your mouth. This is why you need to enforce those, uh, you know, social media guidelines again. What What is going to happen before we get into where, where the status of the show is right now? They are making it so much easier to make a case for replacing voice actors with AI. Because they'll be like, they can't keep their mouths shut. The AI is not going to talk back until it does and says it's going to kill us all. But that's a whole other thing. We got a few years yet, right? So yeah, since the uh, show's original trailer was taken down on YouTube since then, many have seemingly forgotten about the whole controversy until recently when it was reported the show is now indefinitely delayed. Multiple outlets on Twitter, uh, such as Toon Hive, which are actually pretty reputable, they actually cover a lot of animation, is to the reporting that the show has been removed from its original scheduled air date of June 6th and has even been removed from the Disney Plus PR page. So is this kind of like poof? Yeah, I am wondering, are they going to just take the write-off? I mean, they've done this with Willow. They've done it with other shows, right? I don't know. They, well, they did with, yeah, they did with Willow and stuff, but yeah, yeah. someone said tax right up on the table right yeah. there. Yeah, Dizzy's looking at another tax write-off. Hope it gets yeah, but canceled. First time I want it to be canceled. Yeah, I just, I just don't think uh, it's going to go well. I think they know how it's going to go. I think they're like, yeah, the controversy is not worth it for the uh, number of views we will or will not get. So let's just uh, let's get rid of it quietly or it might just like pop up on one of their linear cartoon networks or whatever the hell they're going to do on on disney plus right so that's the status of primos i forgot all about that show let's talk about the country bears we'll, getting we'll finish up with this getting uh, uh tarted tarted up here yeah so uh, <laughs> the country bears uh disney did not close the country bear jamboree permanently instead they're going to turn it into the country bear musical jamboree where they're going to take uh country music stars and have them sing disney ip songs and turn it into a grand old opry style show well one of the changes they made to the show were the bears what was it um beulah bubbles Beula, and bunny and bunny. bubbles yeah. yeah. Now, to be fair, they actually they look like before. They look like dudes dressed as as babies. <laughs> I know, right? Um, other than their voices, they did not look like they were female. Let's be honest. At least, they, and, and, you know, they weren't wearing pants either. So there's that. Um, Put pants on those bears. I know, right? So they look like dudes. I'm sorry. Um, they did. I, I'm not. I, 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 let me be clear. I don't hate that they they made the bears more feminine and that they, they gave them cute little outfits. I don't hate that. I just think it's funny, like in an ironic, funny kind of way that go back up. The outfits look like that. They're literal halter. They're like Dallas cowgirl or cowboy cheerleaders, like with a little bit, with a much more toned down outfit, but like the mini skirts instead of shorts, yeah. like they're very tiny, the white pink instead of white and blue. And then they have the little vest and the shirt. I mean, other than having the tie, it doesn't have the tie under the boobs. Instead, it's, it's longer, but they look kind of similar in the, in the idea. So it's just like mini skirts, holler tops and, and, you know, fringy vests. And, but at least the faces look more female. <laughs> They've had work done. They've had, yeah, I'm just like, I'm just, it's just they funny. They have tits? I don't these hate bears it. have tits? I, I don't know. But they, but they, they, I don't know. I don't even want to guess. But they, I don't hate it. I just think it's funny given, you know, the comments being made, especially about Tinkerbell. And then you have Elastigirl doing, you know, pole dancing, basically. And we then gotta you have watch the, that again. Just you to... have the Country Bear Jamboree Chicks. Um, they look like girls now, but they're dressed in these like little mini skirts and half shirts. You know, it's just, it's just funny to me. I'm just, I'm just saying the yeah. irony is not lost on me. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I, you know, I don't know. I mean the whole, um, Tinkerbell thing, not to, That's not to a bring, repetitive movement. Not, okay. Not, then not to bring up the Tinkerbell thing again, but again, she's, she's still in Disneyland. She's still other places in the park. I mean, they might get rid of her eventually, but they're not really making a good case for it. If the problem with, with Tinkerbell was that she was too scantily clad and, um, you know what I'm saying? Cause right. <laughs> these other characters are doing a lot worse than Tinkerbell. She would just stand there and smile and, you know, 
batter eyes or whatever. Well, they just and, aged up the the country bears chicks because they they're went from age, like looking like legal. babies. Oh to, my god, they're uh, legal they, age. Yeah, you know they've they've made them they've made them legal now. So this whole thing it was kind of. Like, look, I, I, it needed it needed a a, a change, but I, not IP. But you know what I mean. I understand people have a soft spot for the Country Bears Jamboree. My I, sister I, is one of them. She loves it. I, I get it. It's it's an older attraction. It, it is definitely um, you know a, a remnant of '70s Disney. Uh, that being said, it's not. I personally don't think it's the most lively attraction, <laughs> and this might actually be a welcome change. I think what will happen is people will check it out. And then it'll go right back to where it was before, where hardly anybody watches it. They just try to get out of the heat. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, there it is. I don't think they're going to talk about uh, blood in this one. Oh, yeah, blood. there's blood on the saddle. Blood yeah. on the saddle. Yeah. I just think, I, I, I mean, I do Dawn. think they needed they needed to be updated. I just, I'm not sold on the IP music, though, because I know it's just going to be stupid, like, zip, you don't have to do zippity doodle. Oh, they you know can't do I mean? that anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, of course I have it, because I used to play it all the time in the parks. They're going to do, like, I don't know. What, whatever is what, popular what, in the last five years. Mothers, you know, the bare necessities, for sure. We don't talk and about no, bare no. We don't uh, talk about bare no, uh, yeah. Bare necessities. See, you um, know, they, they, so now they, Disney has found a way to make the, the meme about the woman and the bear all in one. Maybe they have the a woman sp- is the bear. <laughs> Maybe they have a strip show at the end of it, and it's the the bare naked ladies. <laughs> That'd be funny. It is like and they got fur suits on, so they're not technically they're naked, technically but not naked. It's technically, just, I just thought it was funny. Oh like, my god! I just yeah. thought the irony was was glorious. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it up. There we go, guys. Uh, lots of little tidbits of dismal Disney news. Uh, no, they cover the tidbits usually. Yeah, they cover um, them. They, they, you know, they might have you know a stretchy elastic girl, but they, she's fully clothed. So, I just I'm picturing all the fan art of these bears. <laughs> I, I, don't, I'm I know sure that's gonna, gonna be out there. And I don't want to. Definitely see gonna it. be fan art of. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, sure there, there is, is lots and lots of. Yeah, because she's elastic. Yes. <sighs> I'm sure all my my questions would be answered by fan art, but I'm afraid to look for it. So I'm going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.